Hey everyone, we're back with another install video for you. What we're going to do today, we're going to install the console safe from Tuffy up front in the console of our 2020 JT Gladiator uh, Rubicon. You might have seen the previous video we did on the rear under seat lock box, also from Tuffy. We've been utilizing that. That thing is great. Um, so we just wanted that extra level of protection and security. So like I said, we're going to do the console safe next. It is a small compartment, so if you've got phones, wallets, jewelry, or something you just want to lock in the vehicle, walk away from it. If the top's off, if the top's on, you can have that sense of security knowing that it is in place. So we're going to get that thing installed. We'll walk you through it, show, show you how the process goes, and you can decide if this might be an addition for your Jeep or not. All right, so the first step that we need to do to prep this console to get the console safe in is to get the junk out of it. So whatever you got in there, mints, charging cables, the wife's hairbrush. Um, and then what you want to do is pull the, if I can get my hands on it, pull this mat out. It will go back in there, but it's just going to make it easier to do the install. So take that out if there's any cleanup that needs to be done now would be a good time to do it so when you're first putting the safe lid in you have to make sure that it opens forward and you have to kind of angle it in to the console drop it down in there and then open that lid so you can reach your hand in and pull it back up and that will allow you to insert the parts that are going to come next. Here we have the lid installed with the filler brace on the driver's side as well as on the passenger side. And in the instructions they tell you to put that screw in upside down and it is a little bit of a hassle but as you can see it's in there. And then what this does with those in place it will allow us to put the braces that go underneath on the driver's side as well as the passenger. And then that's uh, the time we can turn those screws and lock nuts in the correct position. Okay, the next step is to put our uprights in. And pulling this thing up high enough and holding it in place while you slip this on there. So I'm just gonna use that to hold that side in place to allow me a little freedom to use my hands on the other side. See how much easier that was? So with that in place, then I can put the screws in from the top and place the lock nuts in place. One of the things that helped is by just kind of holding this in place while I threw the screws in on this side. And now that I've got those holding this up, it's less of a fight for me to try and align this. And I might have to pull this back out because, there we go. These tabs are a little bit overbent, or at least this set was. So that might be something you want to check before trying to do the installation in case you have to open them up. I did, and it's easier to obviously spread that open outside of the vehicle than it is trying to do it while it's inside the console. Okay, you can see that we have all six screws in place, lock nuts as well. And again, it made a huge difference by putting just this side underneath there and bracing it up. And then I installed this side, and that allows these to be correctly swapped. The last thing that we have to do now is just drop this little guy here down. And there is one, one more screw, lock washer, and a couple nylon washers that go in there. And that will be the completion of the install of the safe. Now that the nylon washers are on there, the lock nut is started. Last thing I got to do is tighten this thing up, snug it up a bit. Now I'm going to 
adjust the lid. And what that does is it allows this to slide without this thing slamming. It's just kind of an easily slow closing lock. And as you can see, that dude is in there snug and those side filler plates make it so it's too wide for the safe to be lifted up and out of the And the very last step is installing that little tray mat that we took out at the very beginning. Like I said, it goes right back in there. That's it. Now we're done. There it is. That thing is plenty secure. As you can see, you still have use of the original tray. And we now have a console locking safe from Tuffy. The great thing, we have the ability that since we have the rear underseat lockbox and this Tuffy console safe, one key gives us access to both.